Have you ever thought about going completely off-grid? Imagine a life where you're no longer tethered to the traditional power grid, a lifestyle where you depend solely on renewable energy sources. It's a tantalizing idea, isn't it? But it also comes with its own set of challenges. Today, we're going to dive deep into this concept, dissect it, and see whether it's a realistic goal or just a pipe dream. As we explore this topic further, let's challenge our preconceptions about energy and our dependence on traditional sources. In order to appreciate the appeal of renewable energy, we must first understand traditional energy sources. Let's start with coal. Coal is a black or brownish black sedimentary rock that's primarily composed of carbon, along with various other elements such as hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. It's formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals compressed over millions of years. Coal is a prevalent energy source because it's abundant and relatively easy to extract. When burned, coal releases energy in the form of heat, which is then used to generate electricity. Next up is oil. Oil, or petroleum, is a naturally occurring liquid found beneath the Earth's surface. It's formed from the remains of tiny sea plants and animals that died millions of years ago. Like coal, oil is a fossil fuel meaning it comes from the remains of ancient life. Oil is versatile and can be refined into many different products, including gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel, which are essential for transportation. Finally, we have natural gas. Natural gas is a fossil fuel composed mostly of methane, but it also contains small amounts of other gases. It's found deep beneath the Earth's surface, often alongside coal or oil deposits. Natural gas is used for heating, cooking, and electricity generation. It's considered cleaner than other fossil fuels because it emits less carbon dioxide when burned. Now, these traditional energy sources are ubiquitous for a reason. They're reliable, powerful, and have fueled our industrial development for centuries. They've powered our homes, driven our cars, and supported our economies. However, they're not without their drawbacks. Burning fossil fuels releases large amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. Coal mining can cause land degradation and habitat loss, while oil drilling can result in devastating oil spills. Moreover, these energy sources are finite. They're formed over millions of years, and we're using them up at a rate much faster than they can be replenished. Despite their efficiency and reliability, these energy sources come with a significant environmental cost. And that's something we need to seriously consider as we look towards our energy future. On the other hand, we have renewable energy sources which are becoming increasingly popular. First off, let's talk about solar energy. This form of energy harnesses the power of the sun and converts it into electricity. It's abundant, clean, and can be a cost-effective option once you've got the initial investment out of the way. However, one major limitation is that it's dependent on weather and daylight hours, meaning solar panels can't produce energy at night or during cloudy days. Next, we have wind energy, another abundant and clean source. Wind turbines capture the kinetic energy of the wind and convert it into electricity. It's particularly effective in areas with consistent wind patterns. However, like solar, it's weather-dependent and can be costly to set up. Plus, there's the concern of its effect on local wildlife, particularly birds. Then there's hydroelectric power which uses the energy of flowing or falling water to generate electricity. It's a reliable source as water flows are generally predictable and it can generate power around the clock. However, building dams for hydroelectric power can have significant environmental impacts, including changes to ecosystems and displacement of local communities. Another notable source is geothermal energy, which taps into the heat beneath the Earth's surface to generate electricity. It's a constant and stable source of power but the initial setup can be expensive and geographically limited to areas with high tectonic activity. Lastly, we have biomass energy which comes from organic materials like plants and animal waste. It's a versatile source able to produce electricity, heat, and even fuel. However, it's not entirely carbon neutral and can contribute to deforestation if not managed properly. So, as you can see, each of these renewable energy sources has its pros and cons. They offer cleaner, more sustainable alternatives to fossil fuels, but they also come with their own challenges, including initial cost, geographical limitations, and intermittency issues. While these energy sources may seem like the perfect solution, they too come with their own set of challenges. Now that we understand both traditional and renewable energy sources, let's compare and contrast them. When it comes to cost, traditional energy sources have historically been less expensive. 
The infrastructure for coal, natural gas, and oil is well established, and these resources are abundant. However, the costs of renewable energy sources have been decreasing dramatically. For instance, the price of solar panels has dropped more than 70% in the last decade. Wind power is now one of the cheapest forms of energy in many parts of the world. This trend is expected to continue, making renewables an increasingly cost-effective choice. Efficiency is another important factor to consider. Traditional energy sources such as coal and natural gas convert less than half of their energy into electricity, the rest is lost as waste heat. In contrast, solar panels convert around 20% of the sunlight they absorb into electricity, and wind turbines can convert up to 50% of the wind's energy. This means that in terms of energy conversion, renewables can be more efficient than traditional sources. Let's move on to environmental impact. Here, the contrast is stark. Traditional energy sources produce significant greenhouse gas emissions contributing to climate change. They also often result in air and water pollution, causing harm to both human health and ecosystems. Renewable energy sources, on the other hand, have a much lower environmental footprint. Wind and solar power produce virtually no emissions during operation. Hydropower and geothermal energy also have lower emissions than fossil fuels, although they can have other environmental impacts, such as disruption to aquatic ecosystems or potential for geological instability. Finally, let's discuss reliability. This is often seen as a disadvantage for renewables as they depend on the weather, which can be unpredictable. Solar power is not produced at night and wind power requires a certain wind speed to operate efficiently. Traditional energy sources, on the other hand, can operate continuously regardless of weather conditions. However, solutions are being developed to address this issue for renewables. Advances in energy storage technologies, such as batteries, and the use of a mix of different renewable sources can help to ensure a steady supply of energy. So, what's the takeaway here? Traditional energy sources have been the backbone of our energy system for a long time. They are reliable and until recently were the most cost-effective option. However, they are less efficient in converting energy and have significant environmental impacts. On the other hand, renewables are emerging as a viable alternative. They are becoming more cost-effective, are often more efficient, and have a much lower environmental impact. However, their reliability can be affected by weather conditions, although technological advances are helping to overcome this challenge. As you can see, both types of energy sources have their advantages and disadvantages. With all this information you might be wondering is it realistic to go completely off-grid? Well the answer is a nuanced yes and no. The feasibility of going off-grid depends heavily on several factors. Firstly, location plays a pivotal role. Some geographical areas are more conducive to harnessing renewable energy. For instance, sunny regions are ideal for solar energy, while windy areas are perfect for wind turbines. Secondly, lifestyle matters. Going off-grid often requires lifestyle modifications, from cutting down energy consumption to adjusting to occasional power shortages. Thirdly, the financial investment required can be significant. The initial cost of installing renewable energy systems might be steep, but the long-term savings can offset this. But let's not forget the environmental aspect. If more people decided to go off-grid, it could significantly reduce our collective carbon footprint. This shift would lead to less reliance on fossil fuels, thereby reducing greenhouse gas emissions and slowing down climate change. Of course, there are challenges to overcome. We need to improve energy storage technologies and make renewable energy systems more affordable and efficient. But with rapid advancements in technology and a growing awareness about the environment, going off-grid is becoming a more attainable goal for many. In conclusion, going off-grid is a complex decision that requires careful consideration of various factors. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and it might not be for everyone. But for those willing to make the necessary adjustments, it offers a sustainable and self-reliant lifestyle. Going off-grid might not be for everyone, but it's certainly an interesting idea to contemplate. So, what have we learned today? We've navigated the complex world of energy, from the familiar terrain of traditional sources to the promising landscape of renewables. We've understood that fossil fuels, though reliable and currently indispensable, carry a heavy environmental cost. And while renewable energy offers a cleaner alternative, it is not without its challenges, such as inconsistent availability and storage issues. We've explored the concept of going off-grid, a concept that's both exciting and daunting. 
It's a path that promises independence and a smaller carbon footprint, yet it's fraught with practical considerations and financial implications. In this intricate dance between tradition and innovation, between convenience and sustainability, there are no easy answers. The transition to renewables is a journey, not a sprint, and it requires careful planning, commitment, and adaptability. The choice between traditional and renewable energy sources is not a simple one, but it's a conversation we need to have, for our sake and for the sake of our planet.